Hello and welcome to Profiles in Risk. This is your host, Tony Canyas. And today we're recording episode, I don't know, 226, 227, something like that. Uh, I have quite the panel with me today. Uh, and you should watch this on YouTube rather than the audio version because it'll be a lot more fun with all four of us uh, looking like the Brady Bunch uh, <laughs> or, or like a bad Zoom conference call. Uh, and today, uh, before I introduce everybody, I, I'm going to kind of pass the mantle uh, to Brett Fulmer, who normally hosts the Attachment Point Roundtable show uh, on the Insurance Nurse YouTube channel every Saturday. That one doesn't go out on the on the normal audio feed of the podcast. So, so if you haven't heard that one, you have to check it out on the YouTube channel. By the way, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're working really hard on that this year. So, Brett, great to have you here. Uh, I'll, I'll let you kind of introduce it's an honor, man. Uh, it's fun. It's kind of like a crossover episode. If it was like Friday night on like Channel 7, you know, like Urkel going over to like Family Matters or something. I feel like that's fair. Um, so my name is Brett Fulmer, Broker Brett. Uh, most people don't even really know my last name at this point, which is funny and fun. And got the pleasure of working on a AMS CRM, you know, with Mark Mescal and Ed, Ed Arengo who are on here. And just for some backstory, you know, I've kind of been independent for coming up on three years. Ed and I have been friends for two. And, you know, we kicked around working on a brokerage. And earlier, I want to say this year, but earlier 2020, uh, we fired up the idea. Uh, about June, he's like, hey, I have this friend with a lending CRM. I'm like, would you want to build an AMS? I'm like, you're crazy, man. We're already doing something that's borderline impossible. We're going to build technology too. Um, but Ed's put up with a lot of my shenanigans. You know, he's really cool like he's super supportive of Fineo and everything else I'm involved in so I'm like okay let's take a crack at it and then so we started talking with Mark and his buddy who we call Radio Mark who will join us at some point <laughs> um, and they're just studs you know they can build whatever we can think of whatever makes sense business case wise you know Ed worked at the carrier for a number of years managed a multi-location agency for a number of years so he gives it the sniff test and I got all the crazy friends that have been fun to introduce so I guess I'll, I'll hand it off over to Ed because I feel like he's the next link in the chain yeah. Wow. Well, um, yeah, well, thanks, Brett. I mean, uh, yeah, Brett pretty much nailed it on the, you know, hit it on the, on the head there. We, uh, you know, Mark and I go back, you know, 25, 30 years, you know, family friends. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, I've always known that Mark's worked kind of as a computer guy. I didn't. I, Honestly, wasn't too sure exactly what he was doing, but I knew he was a computer guy and <laughs> kind of a, a techie guy. Um, and uh, Mark reached out to my brother um, once he found out that uh, Brett and I were starting an agency. And I think Mark's little little hamster wheels started spinning because he's already in a cap to soft uh, software for 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 the loan industry and uh, I mean, I'll mm -hmm. hand it off to Mark and then Mark can kind of tell you where it kind of went from there. Yeah, so uh, I've been writing software for a long time, 30 plus years now, and um, I worked at Symantec, CyberMedia, um, worked for Stamps.com for a while and other other players and I just got kind of tired of the corporate world and decided, hey, I'm going to start my own thing, and uh, which led to a product uh, called Cap the Loans, and uh, it's a modest little CRM. Um, and from there, I decided, you know what? Uh, there's things that I'm learning from this app, so let me create this thing called Cap the Soft, and we built a kind of a sister version to Cap the Loans framework that. You know, we started shopping out there and people started signing up. And then when I met up with uh, Ed's brother, he told me that Ed's starting his own thing. And I said, oh, I wonder if there's an opportunity here for this. And uh, sure enough, it sounds like there is. And uh, we're, we're kind of going down on that path. And, uh, and, uh, and I'm amazed that there's, there's opportunities there. So I've never worked in, in banking or, or, or the loan industry at all. Uh, so I have no idea what, uh, what is it? Captain loans? <laughs> That's what the I Capta. heard. So, Capta. So, okay. no, it's Capta, Capta. And going into that name, it's a long story. And there's other, other business partners in the past. But it's basically, I believe, a Portuguese 
or Spanish origin word that means to capture. Uh, it comes from the root word. I'm not, I don't speak Spanish, but I believe it comes from there. So that's where it came from. So capture. And so it's somewhat appropriate in that we're capturing your data, right? And we're, we're, we're working your data and, and, and so forth. Okay. So, so basically you, you've been working on, on, on this CRM for, for, for the loans industry and you're like, mm -hmm. right. why not insurance? Uh, exactly. So, Why so, not insurance? So, and, and, and I can see the logic. However, the, the competition in, in, in the uh, agency management space is brutal, right? Uh, so, so Brad and, and Ed, uh, so, so, right, like, the, 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 what is it, the top two or three? Is it like Vertifor? Uh, Basically, AMS uh, 360 and Epic, I think, have 80, 90% of the that, market. There we go. That's exactly what, what I was yeah. curious. So 90% so of the market. But on the other hand, I do know that, that there are agencies out there. I, and I, I'm a carrier guy, so I'm a little bit lost on this side, right? Uh, I, I help agencies with staffing every once in a while at Jacobson, and they do call into insurance nerds. And we have a good amount of agency side insure techs come on, on the podcast, but I've never worked at an agency and I've certainly never ran my own agency. Uh, so I'm assuming that, that the reason that the, there are some agencies out there that are like Excel <laughs> for their agency yeah. management system. Oh, right? yeah. I'm assuming that's a matter of cost. Cost and then fit. We're okay. actually going to work with Marine and Aviation a little bit too, because they're so small. People usually don't get tools built for them. Okay. Um, but yeah, for us, when we were getting going, I won't name names. But we talked to some of the bigger players, and with me and Ed being two guys, it was like we're lucky to get the meeting. There's a lot of upfront costs, a lot of monthly costs. There's one smaller tech player that we were really close to signing up with we thought was cool. Uh, Mark's always blown away on these calls how much people don't like the traditional systems and how eager people are to see something see, different happen. That I agree with. That I hear that a lot. I, I hear a lot of uh, both from agency owners and uh, I, I'm a little bit hesitant here, right? How, how, how yeah, much we want to be that, cool. Should we're I talk about, to about the, anybody yes. else? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're just excited to build something. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of complaints about them. That that that's for sure. Well, uh -huh. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. As as an agency guy, having staff that worked for me and and uh, running multiple locations. Um, Whenever one, whenever you would have like a conference, let's say we went to, you know, Carrier ABC's annual and, meeting. And I think we conference. should just use general acronyms today. We just should stay out of hot water. We won't name anybody specifically. Sure, we won't exactly. just speech anything specifically. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> in, 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 general, in general, not a problem with insurance nerds. Uh, and uh, yeah. uh, and I, I, I can always uh, cut it out before publication if needed. Uh, so so <laughs> what, whatever you're comfortable with, do, do, don't censor yourself because of us. Okay. That's funny. Well, I mean, if we, you know, if we, you know, if we, you go to a conference, you know, an annual agents meeting conference and you're sitting around, you're talking and, and I'll tell you nine out of 10 times, you know, after the, the greetings and the formalities, you know, usually your third or fourth question or you're talking to another agent from another area of the country it's, you know, it usually comes up like, hey, so what software do you guys use? That's usually the way the conversations go because, and then, and then it's usually like, oh yeah, boy, I, yeah, these guys are reaming us. They're killing us. It's so expensive. And, and uh, it doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. I want to get customization. Every time I call, you know, uh, you know, I have to go through this array of customer service and they charge me by the minute to have customer service. We've kind of eliminated all of that oh, with this. Hold on. I didn't know that. So you have a paid license by the seat. Yeah. That is, that is a significant part of your small agency's budget. Sure. And they, and they charge you. <laughs> and they and charge you <laughs> for, to provide you service on their, like the reason you're calling is because their product's not great. And they'll charge you by the minute for the service. And I didn't know they do that. Yeah, at times that's that's happened. You need service, and they they, they go. You can pay like uh, an annual fee to, and I'm talking the big boys. I'm not saying any names. Um, you know, for customer service. But if you don't sign up for this additional, I don't know, three or four thousand dollars a year for customer service, then we a la carte it to you. So that's that that's been out there. Again, granted, 
I haven't been in that big boy mix in probably three years now. So I don't know if it's changed now. If somebody comes on and goes, oh, they don't do that anymore. Well, we know why. Um, so well, when we were signing up with one of them, they said we get two hours of training. And then after right. that, it was going to cost us. And not right. to name names, but one of the big systems was like, and that was the guy that like, it seemed like we should feel lucky we were talking to him because we're small, you know, and like, and like back in the day, there's another one I want to sign up with and they want to do an individual seat, you know, and just like these little things. You're like, guys, like I'm trying to give you money. I'm trying to like, I want to build a business. So you're, for you're charging us $250 a seat every month. And you're, you know? yeah. Ed's favorite thing, and this will work better on video, but he's always like, and you use this much, you know? <laughs> you know yeah. I mean, they give you all this they tell you and they promise you all this capability and functionality but when you are in the trenches doing the work day to day when you're out there you know your agents are doing your you know your cr you know your customer service people you're only really using about this much of its potential but you're paying for all of it you know what i mean so that kind of happens man uh yeah. i i had heard yeah, good, uh, uh, real real quick i had heard good things about hawksoft and they, they haven't been mentioned in this conversation so i'm just curious yeah. are they still around are they still focused on on the smaller agencies uh, well, we're gonna throw we, names out yeah we, <laughs> we'll, we'll throw names the good ones, we'll throw names <laughs> the good ones. Uh, that's generally a good yeah. rule exactly if they're not awful yeah. then we're well, then we're okay to say so, that uh, so hawksoft and i think now certs are kind of api driven they're open they're doing interesting things for the little guy you know what's crazy and it's not all about price, but we're even coming in like pretty darn low. And Mark's used to building systems. He's like, I don't want customer service calls. His call, his goal is make it simple, make it useful, make it helpful. Right. We're building a pickup truck. You know, we're building a Swiss Army knife that's going to help out with kind of sales management, CRM, and then agency management too. Um, I feel like we're taking like a little meat and potatoes approach, you know, and it's not gonna be flashy i honestly i think it works yeah. brilliantly i really like how it works but we're just trying to build something useful exactly and, and I, I was just gonna on top of all that you know the traditionalists out there when it comes to the tech side is oh my god you're not architecting this thing out you know um and that, that that's the way it is you know in, in the in the industry but like ed said you, you get all this stuff that developers are throwing hey maybe this will work let's throw this on there and then you're paying for stuff you don't use and so my approach and it's always been this way is to build something organic right and let the customers tell us what they want and so we put out a, a basic framework out there and if it doesn't have what you want talk to us hey, a friend we'll of yours is already us. helping us out tony right. somebody who i talked to earlier this week exactly. is putting some wishes in there so yeah, exactly so, so Right now, uh, are, are you on like beta version or or is it an you, alpha version? You can call it a you you could call it a beta version, uh, but we like to call it an early adopter version. So the system's pretty solid. Again, it's based off of our loan side, and so the underlying platform works pretty well. Um, it may not have all the functionality that you may expect in larger AMS, but again, we're, we we want to give you what you need to work. That, that that makes your day productive and and that's our philosophy and, and again we want to try to keep it as simple and as affordable as possible but that doesn't mean that we're going to limit ourselves to future you know future uh, of enhancements or functionality and you know we i think we're in a kind of agreement depending on our cost that as a user an early adopter you're going to get all this stuff grandfathered in as the program evolves we have a couple outside users, Tony. I won't mention their names, but there's a friend you connected me with Arizona. There's a friend you connect me in Texas. Those were two of our first signups. So we actually owe Tony. I didn't even think about that right now. He's oh, yeah. He's going to triangulate this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> where, where's my commission, right? Exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, so so, so uh, you, uh, you, nobody has mentioned the price, but I, I, I remember Brett mentioned the price to me at some point. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, like, like I don't know if you guys want to say it on, on the air, I'm sure it'll change over time. But right now, it's super, super cheap. Oh, and actually, Mark thinks, like, we think it's funny. We think it's inexpensive, but also we're not giving it away. We got to price it where we can give the customer service, we can bail out, take care of people properly. But $30 for one vertical in the CRM, each additional vertical is an extra $10. So commercial, specialty, marine. Um, 
but we want to make it kind of a la carte so it fits the use. And that goes back to Mark's philosophy of being functional. When you log in, you feel like you're touching the whole system. That's a very interesting approach uh, because there's a lot of yeah. personal alliance agencies out there, right? Or maybe personal alliance and small commercial, but but that's all they do, right? They don't do anything specialty. Uh, and, and yeah, they're paying for an AMS that, that's designed to to do a lot more than they, than they need. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. Well, it's so, the, yeah. um, the benefit shop I was at, okay. we were doing PNC out of what was a, a health AMS more or less. And then I'm licensed across the board, you know, thanks to working with Fineo. Um, so we needed to build a system for ourselves. And there's a lot of agencies out there that run all four lines of business. And you're usually either out of two systems or kind of ad hocing one of them. And we need people on the platform. We want feedback, you know, because right now I think our property yeah, casualty is really tight. And, and the, we'll, thing is, we'll the thing is, we'll get better dealers. The thing that's nice is, is that the way we see this, this, and the the whole approach we've taken it, taken on is that, that this is basically created by insurance agents for insurance agents. So in other words, I mean, Mark, Mark is the the coder, the programmer. He gets it, but it's not a consortium of a bunch of programmers that decided one day I want to make something for insurance that have no mm. idea. You know, Brett and I, we live it, we sleep it, you know, we, we're we in yeah. that world. So that's what makes it kind of nice because because we can kind of bring to the table, yeah, you know, you know, the people that are in the front lines on the trenches, they needed to do this and this and that. They don't give a crap about this or, or that, you know, mm. they need uh yeah drag and drop of documents they need uh, <laughs> they, the internal joke. communication an inside joke <laughs> your friend from they, texas helps support ed on that one yeah i i have i have always said uh that that uh i think the insured texts that will be successful are the ones that respect the the able travis rule uh the, that they have both parts of the word insure and tech yeah if, if it's just a tech toy looking for or a tech hammer looking for an insurance nail uh, those will have a very hard time. Uh, I, I have right. much more faith on the, on the ones that come from people like you guys who who Thank lived you. it, uh, identified a pain, and then found a way to to uh, to start ad addressing that pain. I think I think that that makes a ton more yeah. sense. Yeah, and on top of everything too, Tony, is that we we're we're bootstrapping this ourselves. We have no outside money, no outside influences, and we're very approachable. You know, again, we're just looking for people who are. Or want to be early adopters and let us know how we can help. And again, let's build this thing to fit yeah. your needs and everyone else's needs without giving you all this other fluff. You know, let's get this job done. Bunch of Southern California guys, you know, yeah. born in LA County, like, you yeah. know, working out of our houses, just yeah, yeah. putting yeah, stuff together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a mile from the water. <laughs> uh. So he, he, here's a, a, uh, Here's an indiscreet question, and uh, if, if you guys don't, don't like how, how how the discussion goes, tell me, and I'll cut it off before I release this. But but uh, what 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 about neon? Oh, actually, I can speak to that directly. So yeah. that's the B Atomic guys, neon. I consider Pat West one of my like best friends in this industry. So I called him before we got going. I was like, Hey, Pat, I accidentally got involved in the CRM AMS. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's similarly to Fineo too, and they were really supportive to give both those guys credit. Um, Be Atomic and Neon was designed by Seth, I'll say it's his brainchild, and he's designing it for evolved, interesting, dynamic agencies that need to do a lot of internal understanding, you know, run reports, see what's working, and a lot of deep analysis and complicated situations. Ed and I are building, and Mark's, the Marks have built the whole thing. We're lucky that they're willing to tune this stuff for us and we all get to work together. A little pickup truck Swiss Army knife for the everyman. You know, we're putting that VoIP system in there. Um, the person you referred to out of Texas, we're basically setting up their VoIP system, which is awesome. We have DocuSign in there for 50 cents a signature rather than a monthly subscription. It's all a cart. Very, that, I yeah. love that idea. And, mm -hmm. and team members of the B Atomic guys have been messaging me on Twitter. You know, I gave Olivia a shout out the other day because she's awesome. She's over there we're kind of swimming in different lanes. And I think there's opportunity for all of us to contribute. I'm definitely a blue ocean guy. Insurance is big. A lot of people need to be insured. Insurance is huge. Yeah. I think, uh, I think we're taking care of marine aviation and the little guy. Okay. That, that makes sense. And the, the reason I, I bring up neon is, is because when you talked about, about uh, a, a system designed by insurance people for insurance people, that that's what they're advertising, right? I have not seen a preview 
Uh, I've seen it. It's good. It's really impressive. I, 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 yeah. I would imagine. But, but yeah. also, they are um, – the, you can't even – buy it right now right it, it, right like it's like by invite only for 2021 uh so and they're kind of layers above us me and ed are making it for the little guy who's getting out there who's gonna go make some noise you know okay so so tell me about you you've mentioned that the two ver verticals the two specialties that that uh that that you're specifically aiming at uh why those two and then i, I do feel bad i kept saying me and ed because i'm so used to me and ed building the brokerage <laughs> but really the marks are behind it all you know i yeah um that's yeah, fine. Can, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> Mark almost prefers that way. He's like, you guys go cause a dust stuff. I'm gonna build this yeah. thing. General yeah. Yeah. IT yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Um Yeah, though and to kind of backtrack a little bit, I'm out in the tech stuff. Ed knows it from a traditional seat, and then the mark and then his counterpart who we call Radio Mark can build anything. So we're kind of kids in a candy store. Um aviation's got nothing built for him, too niche. Marines got nothing built for him, too niche. Uh, we have friends in those spaces. I got my good friend Chris Disberg at Avpac, who's a stud. Um, and then Ed just dropped off somehow, for some reason. Um, but what Ed did you used... say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How did he scare him away? <laughs> oh. him away. Um, but Ed maybe, ran a Marine. Maybe we have enemies already. Yeah, exactly. They're cutting us off. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he ran a Marine-based agency for 12 years. You know, we still have ties there. Um, oh, so it's a Smith test thing. That, that explains a lot. Okay. Got and it. your friend in Texas may have another expertise that we're talking to them about, you uh, know, so we're trying to enable, you know. Yeah, if, 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 if you say two more words about her, the entire audience will know who she is. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> we owe her. I don't think Be she would careful. mind a little shout out. Should we say don't, it? No. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I, I think I, th I think uh, Marine makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, it changed his mind. His mind and came back. He wasn't back. As, as offended I, by whatever you said. Oh, <laughs> for some reason, my my internet went down for a second. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh you're good. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I was mentioning I, your expertise in Marine. I I, you know. I, 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 I was imagining you. Uh, uh, throwing pots and pans around the house while while yelling in, in very Cuban uh, accented Spanish. Uh, <laughs> because there's no. That's my image of Cuban people. They're, they're like super passionate, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, uh, so, so I think the Marine one makes a lot of, a lot of sense. It's a super specialized world uh, and so much of it is out of California, right? Like San Francisco is, is San Francisco and New York are the two home bases for, for Marine insurance in the States. Uh, so, so, so I think that makes a lot of sense for you guys. And yeah. if, if that's already connected, uh, what well, is it in, in, in the Marine world, right? Yes. Makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Right. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I, I came from that specialty of the marine industry, um, very dialed in. Um, I mean, anything that's coastal is, you know, is where, where our markets are, Florida, obviously, and, you know, Fort Lauderdale and Miami and San Diego and all the way up to Puget Sound. All that is very, very, you know, and then you've got, um, you know, you've, you've got, you um, you know the you know the north uh, northeast as well um new england area where tony where are you located I mean, I so I, I i used to say uh, uh i used to say that i pay i i live on a delta plane and i pay rent in columbus ohio uh but two things happened we moved from columbus ohio to atlanta georgia and uh covid hit so i really haven't gone anywhere <laughs> i so i uh, atlanta georgia atlanta georgia okay yeah yep. And I think what makes sense about what we're doing too, you know, Ed will say this, we're kind of kids of a sort, like we've been starting to cold call into the auto industry. We like boats, we like planes, you know, we're just building around things <laughs> well, we enjoy. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and that makes sense. It makes so much yeah. sense. And, and, and I think, and especially, you know, if, if, if you're not trying to build the behemoth, right? If, if your goal is not to, to displace, you know, explosive growth, uh, uh, finance, finance by venture capital and eventually an exit, uh, if you're building a lifestyle business, uh, which is my preferred approach, uh, yeah, choose to work on the things that you enjoy. You'll get to hang out with the, with the people you enjoy. And, exactly. and, 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 so I love the approach and, and, and not everything has to be huge. And, and I, it, I would guess, and I, I've worked with maybe a couple of, of marine agencies back when, when I was a sales manager. Uh, I don't think I worked at an aviation one, but I would guess that marine and aviation agencies tend to be marine and aviation agencies. They don't tend to be general mm -hmm. shops that also have, right? Uh, so, so 
I would think it's a perfect match for them. You know, it would happen. What would happen is, uh, you know, you'd have your marine, your marine client as an agent, um, and, and there's a lot of hand holding in there for you know, and you're talking about someone's yacht or boat, and it's usually you know a lot of money. And they like to brag and they want to talk about their boat and their boat's the best thing in the world. And, and, and you, you develop a, a rapport with these, these clients and this, you know, this, uh, this, this connection with them. And then they're, they'll come out and go, Hey, well, can you do my house? I mean, you, you're a cool guy. And can you do my house? Can you do my business and my, my collector cars? And we would be like, uh, we don't do that. We're just a marine agency. So we kind of got forced at my previous life to kind of go into that field and start doing that. But, but usually you're right, Tony. I mean, I mean, aviation guys are aviation guys. Marine guys are basically marine guys. And then they got to, you know, they got to, you know, pan that pan the other business out to other brokers you know, always with a little bit of fear of like, oh shit, what if they take my boat eventually? Mm-hmm. So that, that that makes perfect sense. So so we're recording this in in February. It'll probably go live in March because I'm I'm a, I'm a few episodes uh, ahead in, in recording. Uh, so by the time by the time the listeners are listening to it, uh, who should give you a call? If I'm understanding correctly, like one to five seat agencies. Uh, especially if, if they're either unhappy paying a lot per seat to a big player or if, if they're running the agency out of, out of Excel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the niche guys. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it's interesting. Like you saw the email the other day with that referral, which we really appreciate. We kind of want to create a little bit of a community too, where we're like, hey, this is how we built our website. Oh, this is how we did this. You know, you know we use Vistaprint, they're solid. We don't mind handholding helping new agents because we need help ourselves. So it's going to be kind of a community grown, community built product, and we're just going to help the other scrappers, you know. So I, I, I was telling Brett earlier earlier this week that that uh, that uh, the introduction I made to my friend in Texas, uh, the the way I thought about it, and she's from Louisiana originally. At this point, I've completely given up who it is, I guess. Uh, but but <laughs> the, the, the uh, uh, I think of her as like the Southern hospitality, right? Like like she's very like Southern. Uh, and I think of Brad as like mm-hmm. the California surfer dude. I have no idea if you surf or have surfed, but but uh, <laughs> like the the hang ten easygoing California surfer dude. So I was just thinking how different the the uh, the culture is uh, between the, what we're seeing right now in insure tech. A, a lot of San Francisco, Silicon Valley, venture backed, uh, very fast growth. The idea is to go exponential and, and IPO or, or sell to like the easygoing, like Southern California <laughs> surfer. Uh, you know, what's cool though, is I've been around yeah. a couple startups and Mark's actually been around some big companies that had exits. So we kind of know that side of the house, but we're just going to build it solid. We're going to have fun. We're going to try to make some money try to help new agents. I'm really excited that, you know, Fineo get a link up on the life side. That's going to be freaking cool. Um, we'll, we'll play it by ear. And if, if it goes big, like we're not saying we're avoiding that or anything, but you know, we'll, we'll just try to build it right. Help the people around us. Yeah. Okay. So you, you talked about community. Exactly. So are, are you building, like, is, is there an online community for people interested in, in or uh, insurance nerd Slack is the best place to, <laughs> to, to, we can do a little wedge out insurance nerd Slack. We can okay. create a channel there. That'd be totally uh, fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Happy to. Yeah. yeah, we uh, we have our own little captive slot going, and Ed's like trying to watch a movie at like ten at night, and me and Mark are like just pounding away different ideas. He's asking about <laughs> stuff, and Ed's watch is just buzzing all day long. I think eventually we'll <laughs> maybe open that Slack a little, but yeah, us hanging on insurance nerds would be rad too. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So so uh, so for the listeners, uh, if you're not on the insurance nerd Slack, I, I we do not promote it anywhere near near enough. Uh, in, insurance Slack dot com open to any insurance professional really. Uh, and we'll have a channel for, uh, for, for, for you guys. Uh, I'll include the name cool. uh, once this thing goes live. My, my, my pleasure. And then, awesome. um, and I can't speak enough for that Slack. And then for insurance nerds in general, I was in a cubicle making, I would say 70, 110 cold calls a day. And Tony offered for me to you know write an article, which led to more articles, which led to more podcasts. And it's open 
innumerable number of doors. I mean, that's how I got connected with Fineo. Um, in the Slack, I even recorded a podcast I'm going to put on Insurance Nerds I Don't Mind with a guy from uh, Drive.ai. It's a AI company for telematics for cars. I put him on that Slack today and like, it's a, it's a game changer. You know, I introduced him mm -hmm. to Ponkage right away. Like that community is so cool. And there's 20 to 50 really active people in there all the time helping each other out. And then hundreds of others who have eyes on it. 1800 or so that are, that are subscribed that it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and yeah, with 50 active people, we are most definitely, and 50 is a guess, right? But, but yeah. we are most definitely the most active uh, non-proprietary insurance like right so 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 yeah. like, like not owned by a, by a specific insurance tech for their business kind of thing yep. um well it's funny because there's like 20 people that are like characters on it and you kind of almost have personalities and there's like 50 active people then i'd say a couple hundred regular eyeballs and yeah it's a, gr a great place to, to bounce ideas yeah. uh, I, I, absolutely and and uh uh, uh, thank you for the shout out on, on, on how it helped you make your, your career. Uh, are the audience a lot bigger today than it was when you wrote your first article? Uh, cool. So it's, it's an even better opportunity for, for others who, are, uh, who have great ideas and are toiling away in thankless parts <laughs> of, our, of our industry. There, there is a uh, great community out there to, to grow, grow your, your, uh, not only your, your skills, but your, your network. Uh, so that's, that's all I've got for, for now. Uh, if, if there's anything else that, that you guys definitely want to share, please go ahead be, be, before we finish recording. Yeah. Uh, I would just say um, yeah. CAPTA, uh, C-A-P-T-A, I-M-S dot com. And then we have a LinkedIn page. Uh, we have a Twitter, you know, with that handle as well. And it stands for uh, CAPTA Insurance Software. I should, I should have. Insurance management software. I fumbled the ball at the goal line. Um, yeah, just trying to <laughs> build cool software to help connect the ecosystem and just try to be down to earth and learn from people doing the actual jobs. You know. Excellent, excellent. So I, I will create the, uh, the, the 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 Slack channel on our Slack, uh, Capta IMS. Uh, cool. Awesome, awesome. My my pleasure. Uh, so uh, th thank you everybody for joining me. Uh, when 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 it goes live, I uh, I will tag you guys on on LinkedIn. Make sure that that if I'm not connecting to you, add me on LinkedIn so that I can tag you. Absolutely. And uh, I look forward to to see what what you guys build. Uh, I I agree that there's there's definitely a space in the market for 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 that uh, low cost. Uh, great customer service, or even better, if it's well designed enough that I don't need customer service. Uh, that's 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 a, that's, a, that's a win win. Uh, that's a, that's a win win. So so uh, best of luck to you guys. Look forward to have you back uh, as 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 this thing grows in, into uh, something interesting. Great. Appreciate it, Tony. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Tony.